Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to be painting up a movie prop. This is my Raiders of the Lost Ark Fertility Idol, which I painted up many, many years ago. Original video available now on my Patreon-only channel. And over the years, it's got a little dirty, knocked around, beaten up. The cats got to it, and I'm not sure it's working because I just don't feel as fertile as I once did. So we are going to refurbish this entire thing, repaint the gold, fix the base, and also fix a few things that I didn't like the first time around. The idol I originally got off of eBay, I found out later it's actually a bootleg a recast of a Diamond Select toy bank. And first thing we're going to do here to fix our idol is drill half inch holes into the bottom. The reason for this is I want to add some supports because the statue is uh, very top heavy, gets knocked over easily, so uh, we're going to attach it to the base without actually attaching it to the base. Drilling into this thing was extremely easy because it's basically hollow inside, very cheaply made. But after drilling the holes, I just squirt some hot glue into the holes and then insert some half inch evergreen tubing. Then we do the exact same thing to our styrofoam base. Half inch hole, hot glue, half inch tubing. Next, all we have to do then is take some 7 16 tubing, which is uh, the next size down from half inch, slides right in the half an inch. So we just slide that into the holes on our base and then mount our idol on top. Easy peasy, sturdy now, and it's also removable if I need to dust or clean. So that's the only modification I made to our idol. Now we can start working on the repaint. I don't want to strip this thing down entirely because there's a lot of layers of paint and putty underneath the gold paint. So instead I just want to clean up the surface and rough it up a bit. So a thousand grit to me sandpaper just to smooth things out a bit and then we'll give it a good bath to clean her up. The base for the idol was originally just a styrofoam circle, that green foam stuff and I just sanded the edges uh, smooth to round them off. Then it was coated with an even coat of spackle and painted. So I'm gonna do the same thing to fill in the holes and the dings that have formed over the years. Just spackle and then a light sanding once it's dry. Don't want this thing perfectly smooth. It is supposed to be stone, so want a little bit of roughage. Back to our idol, and we're going to start off with the paint using some Krylon Fusion Gloss Black. Gloss Black is often used as an undercoat to get a shiny chrome effect, and I needed to put something down, so I decided to try that with our gold as well. So three light coats until we had a nice solid black layer, and then I let it cure for three days. Now here comes the fun part, sarcasm, the wet sanding. If you want a truly glossy reflective surface, it needs to be baby butt smooth, perfectly smooth, no imperfections. So in order to do that, we need to wet sand the entire idol, and this is a back and forth process. We sand, uh, we may take a little bit too much of the black off, then we reapply the black and then sand again. Sometimes it takes several attempts to get a perfectly smooth surface. Uh, I got really lucky here. It only took me about two times going back and forth till I was uh, had a perfectly smooth surface for the most part, and we are ready for our gold paint. But wait, before we get to the gold, we actually have to paint the eyes. 
So for the eyes, I'm starting off with Vallejo model color Iraqi sand for the white part of the eyes. And then we will go in with first establishing the, the iris pupil area with a circle of camo black brown. That just serves as kind of the, the dark hard edge uh, around the iris. And then we're gonna move on to Game Color Heavy Sienna and then work our way through browns up to kind of a brownish yellow. Each portion of the painting here is done basically in lines from the outside going towards the center where the pupil's going to be. The first couple are rather broad strokes, covering up a lot of the previous layer, but as we get into the final colors, working our way towards the pupil, uh, you can see the brush strokes get much finer. I'm working more with the tip. So with each stage of paint, we refine the lines a little bit more. little movie trivia in case you didn't know, the idol in the movie, the hero prop, had uh, real human glass eyes uh, mounted into the idol and they actually move. Uh, There's hooked up to some, uh, what do you call it, animatronics. And either you can't see them move in the movie or it didn't work, I can't remember, I've heard different stories. But yeah, they use real human glass eyes, which does seem a little bit odd for this piece. It's an idol, you figured these would be jewels or something like that but we're gonna go for the human look not perfectly human I'm not adding uh, you know the little bits of red or red veins in the eyes because I think that's gonna be going a, a little bit too far for a golden idol so if this doesn't look a hundred percent real I'm totally happy with that As we get to the end, all we have to do is dot in the pupils with black, and then I decided to smooth it out a little bit. This is almost like a human-sized eye, so the painting looks very rough. So some stippled on brown ink used as a glaze, kind of going around the outside of the eye and then towards the, uh, the inner area, right around the pupil, doing the exact same thing except with yellow ink. The base was lightly sanded, primered black, and now it's ready for paint. And we are just going to go wild on this, and we are actually going to paint this with an ordinary kitchen sponge. Starting off with some olive drab primer, not as primer, but just as a kind of greenish brown paint color. And for the rest of our browns for our base, just using a variety of craft paint that I have lying around. I just grabbed any brown that I had and just started stippling them on with the sponge. Remember, we're not highlighting here. This isn't a tiny little miniature we're painting. This is essentially a 1-1 one -one scale rock. So I'm just trying to add some, uh, what do you call it, strata, little different colors to the rock uh, to make it a little bit more interesting. In the movie, the rock, I think it's just brown, very plain looking. Uh, this is a display piece for my living room, so I wanted to look a little bit nicer, so I'm using a, a bit more variety of colors. You can just have fun with this step, but the key is to make sure you're not stippling completely over the color you used previously. So uh, go light, just add a little bit of color here and there. I honestly think I added too much color. I probably could have skipped one or two painting steps. And when I got toward the end, I want to kind of mute it to bring the colors a little bit more together. Also add a little bit of green to show age and uh, moss and algae and whatnot. So very thin wash of Vallejo model, model color military green, and then darkening it up with a wash of plaid black paint. Once this was dry, I hit it with about six very heavy coats of matte varnish via the airbrush. Remember, this is just uh, spackle and styrofoam, so I wanted as much protection as possible for it. Back to our idol, and we need to prep for our gold. So the first thing we have to do is mask our eyeballs. 
some Tamiya tape and then burnish down. And once it's set in place, we can use our X-Acto knife to cut around the eyes. In case you're wondering, well, why didn't I paint the eyes after applying the gold and I wouldn't have to tape anything off? Well, if I paint the eyes after the gold and I screw up, I have to repaint all of the gold. Instead, if I screw up and get a little gold on the eyes, I can just touch up the eyes. So it makes more sense to do it this way. And for our gold, we are going with Krylon Metallic Gold Leaf. Did a lot of research, this got high reviews, the best gold looking paint that I could find, and it was really hard to find, believe me. No action shots of the actual spraying, sorry to say, had to spray it at night, but two coats and it was done, and look at that, looks pretty damn good. Just giving it a, a little buff and polish to see if the, uh, the gold will rub off. And it seems fairly hard as well. And I decided not to gloss coat it. That was an option that I considered at one point. Then we get the big reveal, removing the tape from the eyes and praying there was no leakage. Uh, the stuff didn't run at all, this spray paint. So, yep, eyes are looking really, really good. With the gold set, I felt that the eyes were just a little bit too light in color, so I wanted to darken them a little bit. Going over the initial rocky sand this time with game color Stonewall Gray mixed with a little camo black brown. Actually did this twice, first with just a little tiny kiss of camo black brown and then just a little bit more. And then followed that up with straight camo black brown around the edges just to do some cleanup work. And there we go, one finished Incan fertility idol. I could feel it working already. So much better looking than my previous attempt 10 plus years ago. The gold looks much richer and also I did a lot better job on the eyes. I kept them lighter because this time around I kept in mind that uh, it's not gonna be under the bright desk lights that you see now. It's actually gonna be displayed under normal room lighting. And as you can see, under normal room lighting, the gold actually looks much better because the light in the distance is reflecting the gold far better. So, yep, great project. I enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm the god of hellfire. I got a hellfire.